I'm Rubina Andrew, and today I'm going to be painting my canvas black for the second panel that uh, we want to place at the airport. I'm here at uh, my studio at Austin Airport. I'm artist in residence, the first ever artist in residence at Austin Birdstone International Airport. I have to paint this canvas black so I can continue with this uh, kind of uh, the same theme. The theme is uh, from Austin Airport to the world and the universe beyond. And here's my palette and, and here's my black paint. This is actually, I'm using this as my table. So I'm going to use this. Put a lot of paint over here. Just kind of clean off the edges of the tube so it doesn't harden and dry and, and makes it difficult for me to open it next time. I have um, the medium prepared over here, partial linseed, partial turpenoid oil paint thinner, orderless. Dipping into the paint with my three inch brush, start. This one was different. Let's see, I have another brand. Let's see if I don't like this, I'll, I'll use the other brand, but let us let me just go ahead and paint this. This is the first time I, I was using this paint. Um, I have another black paint over here, which says ivory black. I'm going to use this brush. It's just a painter's brush. Let's see. Okay, this is way better. And this is the color and the type of paint that I want. Yes. So let's not waste. Waste not, want not. I apply the paint and I need to apply some medium. Spread the paint and then use the medium. A mixture of turpenoid and um, linseed oil. So this is the way one would normally hold the brush. But in, in this uh, case, when I'm using, I'm like working on such a large scale, it's okay to hold it like this as well. Less, less pressure on my wrist. So I'm pouring in linseed oil first, so see how much, uh, probably like a, a tablespoon. And then after that, I'm pouring in some turpenoid, uh, probably like one teaspoon more paint onto the, the palette. I haven't decided if I'm going to do the purple in that area. Probably will. So I'll just take on this section now. Like one hour now. So I did this in 30 minutes. I did all of this in 30 minutes. Right. And let's see. I wasn't very good in time management. And maybe now I'm just okay. But I'm trying to get better and better. So I keep the timer running all the time. To And I try to measure uh, what I do and how much I do. Yeah, so this is something kind of like non-autistic, more and more statistical, but it's necessary to be more practical. But um, the good thing about art, I mean, this kind of art is, is kind of like old masters, you know, this is a traditional kind of art, which is 
been there since even before the Renaissance. The good thing about art is uh, humans are able to express their ideas and emotions and, and, and uh, thoughts onto, onto a visual platform. You know, this visual language is, is universally understood. There's a lot of uh, lang uh, communication that can be easily done through visual art. It's still very valid and useful in today's world, the 21st century, because it is, it's, it's a language. It's a language of emotions and ideas and where it, it goes from one human to multiple humans.